We're here at the last day of Narnex conference in Anaheim, California. We have Jorge Garcia and Victor Gonzalez from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. What are you guys doing here in California? Tell us what you're doing here. Well, uh, James, thank you for having us on your uh, show. Uh, we're very uh, happy to be in the NAR convention. Uh, we've been in the NAR before, but this is the first time I think that uh, we actually pay more attention to the things what's going on, a lot of techie stuff that we want to uh, incorporate into our business. Yeah. Like what's an example of that, uh, Victor? Well, uh, there's a few samples, a few boots here that sounds very interesting, like the uh, but uh, the US-based phone, okay, that can be dialed on your phone, uh, ITX, uh, also a lot of uh, staging, like uh, not real furniture, but fake staging. It's a lot of things that I think is gonna be very helpful to our pre-construction business. Okay, cool, cool. So Jorge, tell us what you guys do. What is Ventura One all about? Well, we are a master broker company. It's a real estate company, but our main uh, goal is to promote properties on uh, pre-construction formats. So we represent uh, 10 developments in, in, in Cabo, and one in Rosarito, Baja, uh -huh. Baja Norte. And uh, what we do is we promote, do the marketing, get the leads, uh, create uh, networking, commercial relationships, and try to get uh, leads to be able to buy in Cabo. And for us, it's very important to be here in Anaheim because our main market in Cabo always has been from the United States. Sure. So it's really important to create this networking and share the business with uh, brokers here in the United States. So that's for us, it's really important being here. Cool. Um, Victor, what do you guys see? We were, our podcast is about innovation and real estate. And we're really excited about working with folks down in, in uh, Latin America. That looks like that's there's a lot of you here, folks from Mexico and Latin America in the conference today. What are you seeing that are innovations that are impacting real estate agents in Mexico or and or Latin America? Yeah, that's a great question. I think um, one of the uh, one of the things that are going to impact it's already impacting in the U.S. and uh, throughout the world is AI okay. uh, being incorporated into uh, your laptop and your phone at any time, so you can write decent emails, right? Sure. Because uh, sometimes we, we have agents that. Um, we can work with with those you know first emails and I think AI is doing a great job and I use it a lot and I even wow myself when I yeah. see that you know wow I, I did great you know well so. especially I mean I don't know when, when I write in Spanish um, my Spanish is, is pretty crummy you're gonna find out here in a minute <laughs> but um, that AI can do some pretty crazy stuff with that translation too right yeah <laughs> yeah okay how about you Jorge what are you seeing over there well, what I see, it's uh, the most important thing always is the, the clients. So I think these uh, technology tools, it's, it's, it's getting better for, for the client to, uh, the, the AI, it's, it gives uh, more specific information for each client, also can track any interest leads uh, or properties for the client and be able to have a specific information on their profile. So that's very interesting. So it's, it's like a, try to not waste too much time and also efforts. And also for the agents, it's very important to be able to keep uh, them or help them to be productive, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the, like, like the AI, the IDX, the integration to the websites is something spectacular that we need to be uh, there for, for the client and also for the agent too. Okay. Well, it's interesting you mentioned the IDX integration because one of the things that kind of flagged you guys on my list of people I wanted to talk to when we came down here is I went and checked out your website before we came to, to California and I saw that you guys had iHome Finder already built on your site. How, how are people using that on your site? Really, really cool because right now many of our of clients are using a web page to use it as a property research. Okay. So, uh, of course, we have... Uh, and are these people in Mexico? Or are these people in the United States and Canada? Part of the or world. where are they? Yeah, any part of the okay. world. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cabo is getting uh, buyers from Mexico, from the United States, from Canada. Europe is becoming. So, uh, once we get in touch with the client, we share our web pages and they start searching properties. Uh, and, and they use it as a tool of property searching. So, that's that's amazing. And that gives us more traffic to our web page. To be true, to get uh, to this web page, we, we work like a five web pages okay it wasn't easy it was like a you know trying <laughs> testing and everything 
right now we are feel comfortable with this integration and it wasn't easy but uh yeah, and maybe I, you want to create another one better but uh <laughs> no i hear you i uh i've been doing these real estate websites with idx we do them here at realty can we do this for like 14 years and uh it's it's a uh, it's it's tough we struggle to get a great solution to our clients you know and so you know i i'm and we think we're pretty good at it so i imagine other folks you know they have trouble with it just like we do so how about victor what are you seeing um as far as how there i was talking to a lady from a bank and she was saying that these mls is getting more solidified down in mexico are helping people be able to get credit or um uh mortgages on these houses is that something that's impacting your business at all down there in uh, in Kabul? Um, yeah, you're talking about like how will it be impacted if somebody's trying to get a loan? Yes. Um, yeah, obviously w w what I like about our market uh, is that it's, um, it's from three big countries, right? So we get, which is North America, Mexico, the United States, and Canada. So there's always a need when someone's down, you know, economically or their, or their currency, there's another one that's up. You know? I mean, so it's, if the Canadian market's low, then we get the U.S. market, the Mexican market, and okay. so on, right? So we cater to different loans needs, you know, and we're in partnership with different uh, banks that were catered to Americans and Canadians. And uh, actually, a couple of them approached to us in their booth, and I think we're doing some kind of partnership that we can integrate that into our site as well so we can make it... Um, friendly to our buyers without being breathing behind their neck. So how does that impact? I, I think it's going to uh, help us to get a bigger niche of people because if you don't have the rest of the cash, then we got somebody else that can lend you the money. Sure. Okay. Um, what do you see coming up that that's, you think is going to change some innovations or things that you think are changing? the market going forward in Mexico. I'm going to ask both of you that before we wrap up. In the next maybe uh, five Next years. year, next, next year. year or two. Is that a tricky question? Well, our main focus always is going to be on, on tourism uh, areas. Okay. Like Cabo, Rosarito, and we like to have that niche of markets. So I think uh, in the tourism, um, Mexico always is getting better. And also our first client as a tourism, uh, United States uh, people, Americans, are the main uh, markets, especially in the West Coast where we are. So I see more hotels, resorts are, are building, more direct flights for cities from the United States uh, to Cabo are, are going on. The airport is growing too, private jets. You, you have seen all the private jets that they went to Cabo on the Bisbee's tournament. <laughs> That's really crazy. You know, the Bisbee's tournament is the biggest Marlin tournament in the world. Wow. They split about, uh, I think, $10 million in prices. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so when, when I went to the, per, uh, the airport just to pick up a friend and I see the planes, wow, this is, this is crazy. So uh, good wellness people is it's, 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 it's there. So that's, that's good signs. Of course, the market is getting adjusted with all the market situation. Sure. But at the end, I think the, the market of, um, of, of vacational, recreational, tourism, tourism is getting growing, especially after the pandemics. Uh, we send, and, and that's going to keep growing. Maybe right now it's, it's going to adjust because what's crazy the last two years, everyone wants to vacation. Sure. And, but right now they want to still on the normal market. So that's, I, I'm very positive on, on what's happening right now. To that's each. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. How about you, Victor? What do you see happening down there that, that, that you think is um, going to change the way real estate I, happens? I think and it's already happening in the United States. And I think what's going to happen down in, uh, in where we're from is um, clients are getting uh, savvier, you know, more intelligent. I mean, not they're not intelligent. They're getting more... <laughs> Uh, they know what they're looking at, you sure. know, they're, they're already school before they even t I talk to them, you know. Okay. So what that means is that we need a more um, uh, better train agents. So what that's going to happen is that a lot of agents down there just want to become realtors. They don't make it because okay. they're not trained enough. So I'm going to see a reduction of agents, I think. It's going to filter a lot of agents. I, mean, I think the strongest is going to survive. Yeah. And that's going to better uh, the market for the client, for sure. I mean, this is, that's the bottom line. Yeah, I, I really like that. So you're saying maybe the quantity might go down, but you're going to have quality. a better quality yeah. going up. Okay. 
Hey, I really appreciate you guys joining us for this today. And, and I was trying to chase you down the whole time. You guys are busy over there. A lot of people at your booth. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, James. My pleasure.